It's 98.1 The Hawk, Binghamton's number one for new country. My name is Jay, and on the line is someone special. Divas champion, SmackDown women's champion, integral part of the women's revolution, and I just saw this today as I was researching, 10 years in WWE. Can you believe it's been that long? I Time has flown. It's because I love what I do, and I feel like I, feel like I just started yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it goes very fast. Of course, her name is Natalia, and uh, we've got WWE Live coming to Binghamton this upcoming Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com. Now, before we get into the good stuff, uh, if anybody's never been to a WWE Live event, what can they expect? For me, I think the most fun part of our WWE Live events is how intimate and interactive they are, because... You know, Raw and SmackDown, the TV taping, they're really stressful. Um, they're, they're intense, and you don't get to get up close and personal with your fans. And for our WWE Universe, doing our WWE Live events, you know, I can go ringside and take selfies with my fans, and I can give them my T-shirt, or we can throw out my cat ears, or, <laughs> you know, the Bella Twins will throw out their hats. And it's To me, it's like it's, it's just a more intimate experience, and it, it's, it's more spontaneous and unpredictable, and it, it's just... I love the, the personal interaction we get with our fans at those live events. So if you go to a WWE live event, you might get uh, the personalized cat ears that you wear out to the ring, which I think is a good selling point. Oh, yeah. You might get them right off my head. And I promise you I use really good Pantene Pro-B shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a couple months ago, I actually spoke to Bailey. It was right before the uh, first ever all-women's Royal Rumble. And now we're three weeks, less than three weeks away from WWE Evolution. It's the first all-women's pay-per-view in WWE history. Uh, what do you think attributed to the progression of that? And where do you see this division going from here? Because it is, I would say, it's a rapid uphill climb right now, uh, exposure-wise and programming-wise. Well, I mean, with the first ever all-women's pay-per-view evolution, October 28th, um, just in case you didn't know, um, <laughs> it's a huge deal for WWE. It's, it's a huge deal for the women of WWE, and especially being in the WWE for a decade. I've seen the ups and downs and highs and lows and everything in between, and right now the women are at the forefront um, of, of Raw and SmackDown. And you look at you know, just how much we've grown and how much we're going to continue to grow. And we're actually running out of first. We're running out of the first ever women's ladder match. We're running out of the first ever women's Royal Rumble. We're running out of those first ever moments. Like for the women to main event Raw and to main event SmackDown, it's becoming the norm. So this pay-per-view is going to be so awesome because you're going to see women from the past, present, and future of WWE come together. And there's going to be over 50 women celebrating celebrating how far we've come and and how much more we have to go so it's exciting it's fun it's revolutionary it's, it's history making and, and to be a part of it is just surreal now one of those women is going to be ronda rousey and i feel like everybody who's even paid a little bit of attention to wwe know that you guys uh were friends actually before she even signed and you're one of the ones that trained her to get in to you know sports entertainment from mma What's it like uh, helping someone transition you know, from MMA to sports entertainment and then kind of just getting into the ring? I mean, you had to feel like a proud parent almost. <laughs> well, Rhonda, Rhonda is really unique. She's, she's obviously very well-known outside of WWE because of what she did for women's MMA. She's a pioneer for women in MMA, and I don't think there ever will be another woman like her in MMA. Um, but she came to WWE, and she, I feel like she came here as a student. She came here with an open mind saying, I want to learn this. I want to learn this. I want to I wanna come here and just grow with the company. And she's been so humble, so polite, so grateful, and I felt excited for her. But, yeah, I did feel nervous for her because I wanted her to succeed because I, I like her as a person. And trust me, I've seen a lot of people come and go in WWE. I've been around been around WWE since I was a kid with my father and my uncles, my grandfather, all, all of them being, you know, having been in WWE, I've been around it my entire life. And I just, I like what Rhonda represents. She represents hard work. She is all about girl power and she's also willing to learn. And we, we need that. And she sets a great example, that hard work and perseverance, setting goals and, and you know, and reaching for the stars. That is the way to go. That's how you should live your life. Now, you've teamed up with her. Uh, you guys kind of saved each other in and out of the ring. 
Uh, when are we going to get the match? When you guys finally re- finally wrestle each other? <laughs> well, your your guess is as good as mine. Um, you know, for me, I I take it one day at a time because life is unpredictable, and you know, nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. And you know, I would love to face Ronda. I think it would be a dream come true. Um, I just have so much respect for her, and I think we'd have an incredible match. But I don't know. I mean, I really don't know when when we will have it, and I I I, I hope it's sooner than later. All right, so now that you've been in WWE for a decade, a little bit over a decade now, I think your anniversary was in April um, or something around then. What is your favorite part of being in WWE or your favorite moment? I think my favorite moment is, oh, gosh. (laughs) Well, I've loved filming Total Divas. That's been something that's been so cool for me because without WWE, I never would have had the opportunity with Total Divas. And I've had so many great moments on that show, like having my dad walk me down the aisle while I was holding my cat and, you know, marrying my husband, um, who was a WWE superstar as well. But, you know, I'm in Chicago tonight, and Raw is coming coming at you live from Chicago, and I'm thinking about one of my favorite moments here. And it was putting, it was my uncle Brett the Hitman Hart and myself putting Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair at the sharpshooter. And, you know, we both did it, we both put the sharpshooter on at the same time, and Brett had just come back from beating cancer, and it was just such a cool moment. And um, that, that was pretty cool. That's, that's pretty hard to top that moment. Um, so you talk about Total Divas, how you're in filming that. How does that change your schedule, or is it kind of like the cameramen come? They're like, "We're not here. Just we're not here. Just do your normal thing." Uh, does it change your routine, or you kind of just go about your day? Total Divas, it's it's fun because they they follow us around, they get on our nerves, but at the end of the day, when it, when it comes together, when that when it comes to life. It's, it's cool to be a part of it. It's cool to watch it. And after being on the show for five and a half years, um, it's like you, they become kind of part of your family where, you know, I, I encourage them to capture moments because that's what being on a reality show is, is capturing these moments, sharing it with the world and having people watch it go, I went through that or I can relate or that happened to me or, you know, I love how Total Divas makes us so much more relatable. And that, that to me is very cool, especially as a woman. Now, have the cast and crew, have they made the uh, Christmas card list? Is that how tight you guys got? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a big, I'm, I got a big Christmas card list, but they've definitely made it. And, you know, they, they, uh, they're just awesome. They're, they're so professional, and they're really cool. They work on the Kardashians. And they're, they're the best of the best. They're the best production company in the world working with us. So we're right. grateful for them. So you've got Raw tonight. We've got live events this weekend. We've got WWE Evolution coming up. Everybody was just in Australia. Then they're going back over to the Middle East. You got Total Divas. Uh, when do you have time to do things that you like outside of work? <laughs> well, last week, I trust me, it's been insane. Our schedules are nuts, but um, I make the time. And when I do have a small window at home, I, I spend it with my family. My family is really important to me. So, luckily. Thank goodness for technology. Thank goodness for FaceTiming. Thank goodness for cell phones and texting and pictures. And I stay in touch with my family and, you know, like they keep me grounded. So (laughs) all I really want to do at the end of the day is, you know, put the sharpshooter on people and go home and hug my mom. (laughs) Now, do you FaceTime your cats a lot? Oh, yeah. Every night. I FaceTime FaceTime. my dog, too, so I I can relate completely. (laughs) All right, so WWE Live is coming to Binghamton this upcoming Saturday night. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com. Natalia, thank you for calling me. I really enjoyed this, and uh, good luck. And hopefully uh, at WWE Evolution, you pick up a W some way, some form. That'd be awesome, and I cannot wait to see everybody in Binghamton. And um, there will be sharpshooters for everyone in the front row.